So I was going to tell you a poop joke, but they're all pretty crappy. Uh, running is different. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of running. I thought running was one of the strangest things in the world. There's so much more I could be doing in four hours and watching the person running in front of me sweating the same as I was up and down hills. I actually started running about four years ago and it was a friend of mine had decided she wanted to run a 5K. I got into running through my brother. Uh, my brother Tom was diagnosed with Crohn's when he was about um, 16 years old. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease when I was 20 years old. I was diagnosed May 21st, 2009. He stopped growing, stopped gaining weight. He wasn't running to the bathroom in school, but that was because he wasn't eating at all. I call it his game face. It didn't really hit me how much life would really change until he looked down and was like, holy crap, what is this thing coming out of my stomach, uh, like hanging off of me? At that time, prior to actually being diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, I had absolutely no idea what was happening to my body. I think when I was first diagnosed, I didn't talk about it. I think for that reason, it was harder for me to deal with. After he was diagnosed, he was selected to be an honoree for, for Team Challenge. So we decided to do Team Challenge. When I first heard about Team Challenge, I was like, that's it? It was an experience that completely changed my life. When we get together to run, there is never a thought in my mind of, this person is a Crohn's sufferer, this person is a Crohn's sufferer. That's not the lens we view each other through. It's a matter of, you're my friend. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brett Diamond. My name is Mike Cavateo. My name is Lauren Hopkins. My name is Patrick. My name is Lee. My name is Will May. My name is Charles. And this is my stool story. And this is my stool story. This is my stool story. And this is my stool story.